Hey everyone, welcome in the another video in the Green Plum database series. Today we go through the expanding a Green Plum system. To scale up performance and storage capacity, expand your Green Plum database system by adding host to the system. In general, adding node to Green Plum cluster achieve a linear scale of performance and storage capacity. Because of the Green Plum MPP architecture, when you add resource to the system, the capacity and performance are the same as if the system had been originally implemented with the added resources. Unlike the data warehouse system that required sustainable downtime in order to dump and restore the data, expanding a Green Plum database system is a phase process with minimal downtime. During this phases, regular and ad hoc workloads can continue while data is redistributed and transactional consistency is maintained. The administrator can schedule the distribution activity to fit into ongoing operation and can push and resume as needed. Tables can be ranked up so that data set are redistributed in a prioritized sequence, neither to ensure that critical workload benefit from the expanded capacity sooner or to free the space needed to distribute very large tables. Note hardware resource and configuration for the new system host should match those of existing host. Check out the provided link for more details. Let's not wait and start our expanding Green Plum database. First make sure hardware resources and configuration are same as the other host which we have. I have prepared the host as we did in the first session. We'll quickly verify all the settings and configuration. Host name are set and the IP tables are updated. Here we are going to add two segment hosts. One is the segment 5 and the next one is the segment 6. Both having the same configuration as we have in our existing host. We will use GP expand utility in the Greenplum database to expand our Greenplum cluster. Check out the provided link for more details. As we discussed earlier in the video, first we have to plan for a Green Plum system expansion in which the hardware resource and configuration should be same as the existing host as well as the preparing the host for the Green Plum database and commission or new segment host. Make sure this utilities cannot be run while GP expand is performing segment initialization. Table redistribution is performed while the system is online. For many Greenplum system, table redistribution completes in a single GP expand session scheduled during a low use period. Larger system may require multiple sessions and setting the order of table redistribution to minimize performance impact. Try to complete the table redistribution in one session if possible. If all are set, at first, we will create a file which will consist of the host name for our new segment host. Then we are good to use the GP expand utility to create the input file which will be required for the GP expand utility. Verify all changes are met and all configuration are there in place which were required. Like the password SSH is there for the both the host as well as the GP admin user is there. Greenplum database binaries are installed and run the GP check perform utility to benchmark the new host. We'll start our Greenplum database as well as the Greenplum command center. Our Greenplum database cluster is up and running. Let's initialize the new segment. First we have to create the expansion and put file. We will create via GP expand utility itself. 
to create the GP expansion input file, we have to execute GP expand hyphen F with the host file name consisting or new host and it will prompt us to enter the details which are required. Here you can set the type of mirroring strategy we would like as well as the number of primary segment per host. We'll enter the data directories as well as the mirror data directory. After you have entered all the required information, the utility generates an input file and save it in the current directory. Try to use the interactive interview process to create your own input file unless your expansion is typical. The input file will consist hostname, address, port, data directory, DVID, content and preferred role. Make sure the directories which are provided for the primary and mirror must exist on the host and the user running GPA expand must have permission to create directories in them. Now we will run GP expand utility with hyphen i and pass our input file which is created. Wait till the process is complete. You can monitor the cluster expansion state via GP state hyphen X. This will show us the number of table to be redistributed. We'll verify our cluster health via GP state hyphen E. And check our green plum command center whether our new host are added or not and being monitored. If anything goes wrong, you can use gpxpand-mp rollback to roll back all the changes. At last we redistribute tables to balance existing data over the newly expanded cluster. After creating an expansion schema, you can redistribute tables across the entire system with gpxpand. Plan to run this during low use hours when utility CPU uses and table logs have minimum impact on operation. Rank tables to redistribute the large or most critical table first. You can rank up the tables for redistribution by updating the GP expand schema. Check out the link for the more details. Now run the GP expand utility with hyphen D or hyphen E option to define the expansion session time period. The utility redistribute tables until the last table and the schema completes or it reaches the specific duration or end time. You can monitor the progress via querying the GP expand schema as well as executing GP state hyphen X. If the expansion schema exists in the Postgres database, GP state hyphen X reports on the progress of the expansion. The, during the first expansion phase, GP state reports on the progress of the new segment initialization. During the second phase, GP state reports on the progress of table redistribution and whether redistribution is paused or active. Our Greenplum cluster expansion is completed and all the tables are redistributed. If all good, you can clean up the expansion schema by gpexpand-c. For more details, please check our Greenplum docs. Thank you guys.
that's all for today meet you in the next session and happy new year